Hi everybody, this is Erica from Confessions of a Homeschooler and today I wanted to share with you one of my new literature unit um, lap books and this one is The Story of King Arthur and His Knights and as you probably know by now um, we're using the classic starts version for all of our new literature units. These are such great books. They're good for uh, younger readers obviously but they also include some comprehension questions at the end and some even more interpretive questions as well to just kind of get your child thinking. But in any case, we're using the classic starch version. And so I'm just going to quickly go through the lab book I created so you can kind of see what it includes. So if you're interested, stick around and I'll be right back with that. Okay, so here's the front of the lab book and it's just kind of your regular trifold lab book. Um, I did have to do an insert in these and there's instructions on how to create this on my website and I'll try and remember to link it below as well. But it just comes with a nice fun cover that your child can color. And then when you open it up, you'll see that there are several little mini books included. And for each one of these mini books, they're going to answer a comprehension question that goes with whatever chapter they just read. This one is the final one. and. Um, it's what is it that a woman desires most in the world and it's of course her will. If any of you have read the story before or know anything about King Arthur. Um, and it also flips up to reveal some more of these mini books. And then there's, sorry I'm trying to not shake my camera, but there's also a few more on this side. So I don't remember exactly how many chapters this book was. Um, but there is one mini book for each chapter. And then at the end, if you close this up and flip it over, I've also added a pocket on the back of my mini book, and that includes all of the little reports and worksheets that are also included as you read through the chapters. So some of them, one of them is for vocabulary, that's on the mini books, and then these other reports are predictions based on the cover of the book, what they, what your child think might, the book might be about, and what might happen, and that kind of thing. Another one is this storyboard timeline. And this one is for them to just kind of keep track of just major events in the story as they read. And you can either have them write in these or draw pictures. It's totally up to them. I really let them have fun with this. I want them to enjoy reading and enjoy doing these. I don't want it to be like another, you know, boring task that they have to do. My kids usually like to draw pictures, but they can do whatever they want. And then there's also one that kind of just talks about a few facts about the story, which includes like the setting, the main plot, the main character... Um, a spot for a picture. There's another report that talks about the pr protagonist, the antagonist, what the main issue of the story is and what the solution of, the, of that issue might be. And then always it includes a final book report which is really just an overview. It lists, they list the author, the illustrator, they write a summary of it and then they can kind of write their own thoughts on the book below here and then if they want they can add a picture to that too. And then one thing that we like to do, and I'm not sure if I found a movie for this one or, yet or not that was kind of age appropriate, um, but we like to do a movie if at all possible, and so we will uh, write the report that um, just compares the similarities and differences between the movie and the book, and then it talks about what you thought about the characters that were chosen for the movie and which version you liked better, movie or book. And so those are just questions I like to ask just to kind of get my kids thinking and uh, just, you know, kind of thinking outside of the box and just putting a little bit more input. And then, like I said, we keep these reports in this folder here, and that makes it kind of easy to store it all together in one. And then you can just um, review these or go over them as necessary in the future, but they're kind of a fun little flip around book. They're also a fun project to do while you're reading these stories. And the best part is that, like I said, each one of these mini books in here includes comprehension questions and so you'll know whether or not your child is actually understanding what they've read as they go through each of the chapters. And then all of my units include a teacher's manual that tell you what to do after reading each chapter, tell you which lap book to put in your um, or which mini book to put in your lap book and has whatever question your child is supposed to answer in there and then also the answer so that if you aren't reading this book with them if they're doing it as like an independent study you can still make sure that they're understanding what they've read without having to read the book yourself so um, it's like that for all of my unit studies I try and make it as easy as possible for you to do these units without having to plan too much or read ahead of your child or anything like that so so everything's included when you buy one of my units 
If you don't want to do a lap book, you could also take these pages and put them in a notebook of sorts. Your child could or student could still cut out the little mini books and just paste them to like a notebooking page and you could keep it in like a three ring binder with all of the reports and maybe just put a divider tab in between each unit that you read and kind of keep it all together in one big binder. So it's really flexible. It's totally up to you how you want to use these. Um, we just are excited to go through them. My kids are having a great time reading these and so I wanted to share our next one and I will have another one coming up soon. So that is our King Arthur lap book and unit study. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. My address is erica at confessionsofahomeschooler.com or you can also visit my website at www.confessionsofahomeschooler.com. So I hope you enjoy this unit and I will see you next time.